Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at what's going on in your camera. Now, we're probably quite familiar with the concept. Basically, light goes in through the lens, it hits a sensor, and that sensor picks up the image information. So that part is all well and good. However, that sensor at the back of your camera is a light sensor, and its job is to detect levels of light, as in brightness. So where does the color information come from? In fact, a large number of cameras actually use what is called a Bayer filter. And as its name implies, it is basically a filter, a translucent piece of material that is overlaid on top of your actual sensor. And the whole idea is, for each pixel, one particular color is allowed to hit it. And of course, since we are talking about you know color representation in the context of a computer, the three primary colors used are red, green, and blue. And basically, well, your Bayer filter has a pattern like this. Basically, each pixel on the sensor is looking at an alternating color. To get your final nicely colored image, basically, a pixel borrows the color information from its neighbors, while of course at the same time providing color information to the neighbors that need it. And so what this means is, the resolution you're really getting out of your sensor is slightly lower than what you would expect. Throughout the image, for every small group of pixels, you can imagine that certain colors are actually being shared, and not all individual pixels have their own color information. This is also why three CCD cameras exist. Instead of using one sensor with a Bayer filter on top of it, the incoming light is passed through a prism. This prism then splits the incoming light into red, green, and blue. And basically, each color of light is actually captured by its own sensor. These three individual images are then composited back together into a full color image. As you would expect, a 3CCD camera will give you a sharper image and less noise. So there you have it, that is a bare filter. And that is the interesting method used by cameras to actually produce color images, despite the fact that only one sensor is used. I hope you learned something today, but until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612 TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV.